What is going on, guys? We are back with another episode in our Nighthawks Relocation Fantasy Draft franchise. It's about to be week three, and more fun than ever is that it is going to be a primetime game. Of course, we have one right after, but it is in Arizona, so I suppose it's not going to be as special because it's, it's a dome anyways. It's basically freaking primetime every time in a dome, but obviously, we came off of a very impressive win against a team that had a crazy week one and also has a very good roster. Obviously, Josh Allen was the player of the week week one. He was good, but probably won't be player of the week week two, right? We uh, forced him into, I think it was two interceptions. I'm not even 100% sure, but we also were missing Tutu Atwell, which was our biggest performer in week one. So be lovely to see him come back healthy, hopefully. Uh, maybe a breakout, no breakouts. And Justin Jefferson is... A Viking in this realm as well. Let's take a look at the players of the week. Uh, I'm trying to think of anyone that we would have had. Uh, apparently not. But once again, we forced the Falcons from two players of the week to none. That's all I ever asked for. I want to see the world burn. Specifically outside my nose. Uh, allergies, dude. Don't, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Outside is evil. Of course, looking at uh, the players, uh, the roster's all messed up because, once again, we had 2-2 Atwell come back from injury. And I don't want to, like, call the Diami Brown project over already, but my man's is wide receiver four. I mean, straight up. My man's is wide receiver four. I don't know what else to tell you. Ferguson's wide receiver one. 2, -two Atwell is obviously three. Sky Moore has re-earned that number two spots. I mean, maybe Diami still has another chance. Of course, he's got multiple years on the, you know, uh, contract. It's not like he has to play. Maybe it'll a little be, you know, a little bit of a confidence destroyer. But as far as, like, his usefulness, he still will probably play, still come in, still make some plays. But as of right now, he just can't be the starter. He's just not as good as any of the other three ahead of him. As far as the linebackers go, I, I like Porter. But once again, the coverage needs to get going because he's... He's been a bit laxed in coverage. Everything else has been pretty good. I will say Woolen and Booker, ever since getting to Superstar, have kind of played worse, but that's beside the point. D-line, obviously one of the better D-lines in the league, getting better as the weeks go on with those high devs and youthful spirits. Yeah, I said it, youthful spirits. What do you want? Russell Wilson, quarterback for the Vikings. Demian Harris, running back for the Vikings. They have a rookie backup who... Looks pretty good for multiple styles, but Damian Harris is going to be a problem. Decently fast, very good with trucking. Kind of scary, to be honest, but Justin Jefferson, great wide receiver one. Every other wide receiver, though, desperately lacking. Anthony Schwartz, though, maybe he gets some playing time for him because uh, for them because he's, uh, he's a burner. He's a burner. He hasn't really been developed yet, but even then, he's still probably like 23, 24 max, which is insane. Tommy Tremble... He's an okay guy. Kind of reminds me of Irv Smith here a little bit. Uh, left tackle's great. Left guard's okay. Center's kind of iffy. Right guard's amazing. Right tackle's solid. So a decent line. Left end's really good. Right end's not bad, but he seems to be regressing. DT number one is great. DT number two is awesome with the power move, which is scary. Left out's not great. Middle linebacker's not great. Uh, Dre Greenlaw's pretty damn solid. Corners, desperate at corner. They've got two old guys barely sticking it out. I mean, this is the game to put up some numbers. Obviously, Marcus Williams is amazing, and Edmonds is decent, uh, but those corners are too bad. Just way too bad to be uh, to be covering our wide receivers, especially how fast they are. Look at that defense. Of course, awful in takeaways, but every other thing is solid. I'm going to go with throw it medium. With a couple upgrades, this was kind of the most significant one. One excel, two to medium route running catches up one, which is nice. Solid player. Deep route absolutely sucks, but once again, I'm not really sure what deep route does because in general, the deep routes from the, the receivers, even if they're good at them, they suck anyways. So realistically, you just want to be good at short and medium. Any Like, you know, it's just the best you can do. We also had Osai break his finger in practice. Lovely. Sunday night prime time, of course. We are at home, so we're wearing all the purples, which is kind of like almost blue at this rate i've seen it the most the more i see it it's just almost blue but of course we get to wear the purples they're stuck wearing all whites want the fans and the players to be able to actually see who they're rooting for as you know both purple teams coming here at nighttime in a beautiful dome i mean it's a beautiful stadium it's it's an amazing atmosphere it's a great place to play 
And of course, hoping to give these guys a good show, like your mother does on the weekends. Um, <laughs> obviously, Henry, he's had a little bit of a slow start, but we've seen some promise with him, you know, blowing through the double team at one point and, you know, forcing out a play and, uh, you know, it ended up being incomplete because, you know, he forced the pressure and the throw wasn't perfect. He had one where he was the first guy to chase down a rollout, despite the fact that he's the DT. So he's got potential. Obviously, Hawkins, another guy speaking of, he, he pl shows up here and there, but we need to get him more touchdowns. We need to get him more touches in general. Uh, and, of course, we got to spread the ball around on the offenses. Right now, it just kind of seems like the slot receiver is getting all the love. And sure, if it wins you games, but... Sooner or later, it's going to be picked up on, and then what do you do? You know, you got to build up that chemistry with all the players. And Mr. Freeman will be returning the ball first as we appear to be getting the ball first to start this. And I guess they have the lights on bright because, uh, you know, he's covering his eyes for the light. All right, here we go. Returning the ball is Freeman getting a chance to return it, which is, I don't know if something we want, but... I mean, he does a pretty good job. Gets his 25, returning it that deep. That's technically a 30-some yard return, of course. Gamble, gamble, gamble. Not really his fault on all of the throws. There were picks. Some were, though, unfortunately. But regardless, we got to just play better. However, when you add total touchdowns involved, he's 7-3. to three. So that's not terrible, right? Three, uh, four rushing touchdowns. I mean, it adds up, obviously. Going to start the game out with a nice little run, and Hawkins going to gain about two, three yards. Better than expected, honestly. And I don't want to just run the ball to run the ball. I legitimately want to get the ground game going because I just feel like we're too pass-determined or dependent, gaining about four there. I mean, I know it can't all be, like, huge plays, but, you know, this situation is not the worst to be in, right? So try our best to get this first down. And that is a little late, but it's going to be there. It's going to be caught. It's a bit of a bad throw, but I think he did get it. Of course, it is a big third down early on in the game, but you can't challenge this anyways too early. But good for them that they didn't because that is an amazing catch. Wow. And that's a massive play. I mean, you just you don't think of it right now, but later on in the game, if we score on this drive, it could have been... The difference maker, for all we know. So, glad to see him get that. Don't have to worry about later on in the game because we're still moving. Second and six now from the 45-yard line. Read option. They read our option, unfortunately, and we gain a yard. Tight end, and we have Ferguson going up against a superstar, apparently. And we're going to try to get Woodley hit as he's throwing. Puts it just enough in there, and Woodley gets it for another clutch conversion Franklin Myers, not even just him, but a lot of players getting in on us there. And thankfully, we made the play. And the drive, once again, continues. Verticals, I'd probably rather go with the wide receiver screen, even though I don't trust them. Quick throw. Gets a couple of blocks. Gains about three or four. Two. Same thing. But hey, you know what? We're being patient. And it's kind of working out. It's not... You know, the drive's still going, I suppose. And there, that was a really tough catch by Woodley. I wanted that a little bit more in there. I figured if we waited for the actual route to develop, that it would have just developed into coverage. So, not a bad decision, just not a great execution. But it works out. But you know what doesn't work out is the run call because Derek Brown comes in untouched. They're telling us to go for it, and I don't know if I agree. We'll see what we're looking at. Sky Moore out the gate looks pretty good, but if the linebacker covers Woodley. The running back's open. Hawkins, nice. Getting a lot of yards there. Gains almost 20 or 15. You know, same thing. Play action play is in quite a bit of plays, playbooks, and uh, we're going to try to utilize it here real quick if we can. And that is a little bit of a late throw, but Ferguson, who caught a tough sideline one before, is like, wow, thanks for making it a lot easier this time because, I mean, it's completely you know turned around that's way easier running again and have to cut it inside really good cut back this time Derek Brown not getting in behind the line but still tackling us at the four yard line was debating on going for touchdown pass uh, run number five but gonna go for the pass instead and they've looked at the tape 
This time the tape has deceived them though. No scramble, easiest touchdown you'll ever get. And we're on the board. Now that is a frustrating drive to take. Multiple third downs that they could have gotten us off the field. A fourth and two could have gotten us off the field. And instead, it's a long drive ending in a touchdown, which is just, I mean, kills you. Of course, speaking of getting killed, Russell Wilson kind of getting killed. I actually remember playing him last season, I think, where he actually did have a really bad season. And you know, we were kind of wondering why. And then I think he showed us why. So hopefully that's the same case here today. First and 10 might be a run out the gate. Minnesota, a fan of running the ball. And Henry with an amazing play once again. Only allowing a yard despite the fact that he had a work opposite side for a, uh, a shed. Gets in there, brings him down. Obviously not opposite side of the line, but you know what I mean. Opposite side of where the play went. Tyndall going to be in there and get some help from Jordan Davis. A loss or a gain of nothing. I mean, this has to speak volumes of their confidence in uh, Russell Wilson right now, right? Like, there's just... This is conservative as can be. And on the run, all you need to do is make the tackle. Not a bad play by number 21 to try and avoid the cornerback, but... Yeah, he probably should have just made a break tackle and, and run, but couldn't do it, and... We will force a three and out. It is not a common sight for us to do that. We have had really good starts to games, but usually it's like a lucky interception or something. It's not pure good defense, which right now we have had Wang Wu not really getting much blocks. Probably should have done a little bit more to actually create space, but that's okay to the 22. Stretch play, probably going to audible out of it, though, as they look pretty damn ready. Going for the pass play. And this might be a throwaway. Gamble does have some speed, though. Apparently not enough speed. I don't know where the hell his stamina went, but nowhere to be found there. i seen the two streaks, but I thought they got bumped so much that I felt like the safeties would just have free interceptions if I threw that. And there goes Hawkins. Good vision. Tries to spin. Can't get it off in time. But gains almost, what, 17? Stretch play again. This time a little less ready. Let's try to slide to the left if we can, even though that's pass protection anyways. And we're going to cut it back inside, but to tight end... Turner completely stops us not having the greatest of success on the ground right now the play action look I kind of want Sky Moore to just go to the end zone just drag the play out and there goes 2-2 Atwell please nice footwork we're leading it a little out of bounds here but at least it's getting there and the the receivers seem comfortable enough to make the play so what can really do I want to make this like a short play I think this is a good setup. Maybe not. Maybe not. And that's pretty much going to be nothing. Candy yard. Hey, but keeps that completion percentage rolling, I suppose. I thought that was a good setup, but it just didn't work out. Second and nine from the 43-yard line. Oh, wow. Oh, speaking of oh, wow, Jonah Jackson getting some revenge for his fallen teammate. Burying Derek Brown to the ground there. Nice little block. I like it. A lot of spin moves on that play, I'll tell you what. Once again, I think we're just going to use Sky Moore as a decoy. DK Moore. Cole Turner! There he goes to the 20, my man. Kind of sold on that first down run, but made up for it here on third and five. Doing pretty well so far. Playing it about as cautiously as possible. Just trying to move down the field as we can. Nice blocking, actually. And Hawkins! Getting some revenge. Trucking players over. Who is he? I don't think he realizes he's a tiny man. Of course, is there any sort of play action we can get to the right side of the field? Just running up the middle then, I guess. Because they're obviously not ready for the right side. And Hawkins, touchdown number two. All deserved on that drive. Lots of nice double second effort type of plays. You know, spin move after that. Derek Brown shoved down. Of course, the run there two truck plays which is amazing they're you know jumping over a guy trying to tackle him and a lot of effort love it once again another really really good drive and it took a long time five yards they have so far they've had three plays to our like 20 and look at jordan davis oh my of course it is a pulling guard so it's a little bit tougher but boom that is crazy i don't know if i've even ever seen that look at this bam kills him that is impressive that was awesome second and ten 
Maybe another run. Brian Burns coming off the edge. Missing by an inch. And oh my lord, Porter just pulled a Troy Palamalu on him. I don't know what it is about prime time, but our guys get crazy. Look at this. Kind of jumped over him and just, I mean, killed him. Third and four, I think it's time to get a little risky. I think it's time to get a little risky. Bringing in the blitz. And it works out. Let's go. Stokes with a half. And the other player with the half is the rookie Henry. I will say, probably not the smartest call for the Vikings on third and four to be just like going to the end zone, but sure. This is a smoke job so far. I don't think they've even had a first down yet. Honestly, after the negative four, they barely even have a yard at this point. Doesn't really get a block, but Wang was going to try to do something with it, and yeah. Unfortunately, loses a bit there. Although I will say, could you imagine the pressure it would put on him if he put a you know kick or turn touchdown on top of it on him? That would be tough. Play action to starter. Looking pretty good. That's a dot. Sky Moore pretty much avoiding uh, you know any damage as well to the 41. We're having ourselves a day so far. Got the pulling tight end. Let's just run it and see where we go. Nice lanes. Hawkins almost had a chance for a score. Might be a straight-up handoff every day of the week. It is not, but they actually did a really good job there. They're like, they knew everything, apparently. They knew everything that was happening. Read option is kind of a staple of our offense, so I, you know, I'm not going to just go away from it just because it didn't work there and see if we maybe get Ferguson corner fade, perhaps, type of play. Gets pushed inside, and there goes 2-2. Oh, my Lord, what is he doing? That is all gamble. All gamble. And he gets hammered on top of it. And honestly, with that kind of a throw, I'm, I'm not even mad with it. He just loses it. We go for a touch pass just to make sure that this guy coming up doesn't get a swat, which, I mean, you can see here, he does jump, and he just it just sails on him. It just sails on him. It's, it's gone. There is no need to bullet it there. So open. Just touch pass it, making an easy catch. And instead... He just throws it to the moon. And our perfect game is now come to an end. And wow, what a play by Porter. Now they're back in it with some momentum. How much are they in it? We'll have to find out. Because once again, they are they are playing pretty badly. And Stearns had a chance. But still going to be a third and four. We're going to come with the blitz again. This time we're going all freaking out. We got to help him. And we get the pick with Stearns. Tackled down to the 28. It wasn't even a bait. It literally wasn't even a bait. Like, it, I mean, it, it kind of. Kind of a bait, but not a traditional bait. Like, you probably thought we were going to cover the running back, but we just didn't. But he still had a chance to not throw the pick to the outside. Hawkins getting some blocks. One to beat. Doesn't really have the room to go inside, so it just takes the yards he can get. Starting 7 for 18. Now much better. And I know they're bringing a little bit of a blitz, but if our guys can block that left side, we might be able to score. And like I said, oh, nice little slip off. If we could have blocked our guys, obviously 2-2 is tiny, we would have scored. We simply would have. Of course, we're kind of running Hawkins into the ground a little bit here, but it's working. Got to keep it up when it works. Left guard getting some push. 2 out well, kind of leaving his mark again. Still getting the first down, though. Jet sweep. I don't really believe this is going to work, but Harris, who's also a very fast man, could score. And that's a tough one. Harris holds on. Three touchdowns on the day. Nighthawks. Not him, you know, just the team. I was going to settle for Cole Turner. I was a little worried, but he does it. A little late of a throw. Had a chance to be picked. Didn't. Good footwork. Harris coming in as a free agent off the streets, pretty much. Getting his chance on the team and scoring a touchdown. Of course, they want to check it, but we already know. We already know it's a touchdown. One of the most dominant first half defensive performances ever. And the offense is also doing a damn good job. Although here they're going to find some room on the ground. But still only going to gain five when it looked like they had plenty 
They're uh, second and five now. Just try not to get too cocky. You know, don't want to give up a big play touchdown, and then, you know, it's anyone's game again. Can't get out there. Nice move by Porter. And we just talked about not giving up a big play. And what happens? A 70-yard run for Damian Harris. And just like that, they're on the board. How are we missing these tackles? We try to get out there, obviously, with Tyndall. But Stokes is getting blocked up so well. He blocks us up with Tyndall. Of course, jukes the hell out of Porter. Stearns misses. We try to get him with Tyndall. Tyndall misses. Of course, the rookie blocked, you know, not a great play by him. Instead of going after the running back, he should have prevented. And instead, I mean, it's just never going to have a chance. Of course, uh, I'm not really sure what Brian Burns is doing, and he just runs out of juice. I thought we were pretty conservative there. I, I thought we should have easily had him. I mean, I suppose when you miss three tackles, it's never easy. But regardless, Freeman going to take it to the 27, 28. Uh, still, though, I mean, if we're able to score a touchdown here, especially since I believe we get the ball. Now we do get the ball first. I mean, we're still in a really good spot, so I'm not really too worried about it. Let's just play our game. There goes the tight end. Getting a nice block. Running a man over. Nice moves. Down to the 44. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. Great blocking by Ferg. That was a nice play. They're getting away with press man hard today, by the way. I really wanted to get Ferguson a catch, but Tutu Atwell is just more open and further out. Of course, missing two throws all day, and one of them is a pick because of how bad of a throw it was. They don't look like they're covering the insides too well, right? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just going to throw it to Hawkins. No one else is as open as he is. And, wow, he really put on the Jets there and got the first down. I'm not really worried about the clock. We have all three timeouts. You know, that momentum that they gained that little bit. Kind of lucky to gain from one man's effort. Could be completely gone here if we score right before half. And we're going to force this one in there, and Ferguson will score. Four touchdowns on the day. The offense is having it. Oh, yeah, okay. That was interesting. Of course, we have, and I did want to get the, uh, the ground game going today, but we knew with these corners they had that we were going to have a good day passing, which is why that's been our main focus. And that's kind of our fault. Oh, we miss another tackle, dude. Come on. We kind of set that up for a bait because, you know, you want them when they're making, you know, trying to drive down the field. You want them to take the middle of the field so they waste more clock and no timeouts and whatnot. But obviously backfired a little bit. That's a little bit of PI. And we're just talking about trying to keep them in bounds. All of a sudden now they're playing a bit more aggressively because they have no choice. And our true colors are showing a bit here. The more success the offense has, the more success theirs does as well. It's been moved in a work on absolutely smoked. Gets out of bounds, gaining five pretty much in field goal range at this point. Five receivers, huh? Interesting. Nice move by Henry, but getting double teamed nonetheless. Oh, we missed hard there. Come on, Porter. Oh, come on, guys. Thank you. We're going to come with a little bit of heat. We have Tyndall going up against Pascal, which is not good. Oh, we just got burned. We just got burned so hard, dude. What a tackle, though. Down to the one. Sharp. That is an effort. That is an effort that may even cause them to not get points. Surely you can't run it here. And we almost had it. Anderson needs to go for a pick. We should have protected a pass. But, man, under center like that, it really felt like they were actually just going to run it, just trying to catch us off guard or something. Obviously, you see that front. You definitely need an audible, so not our best defensive performance at all. Should have called the timeout there. Should have called the timeout on the Pash call play. One-on-one -on -one man coverage. Tyndall, never going to get that. He's fast. He's probably faster than Pash call, but his agility is nowhere near that. Freeman on the return. Not really going to get much to the 26. I mean, we are a deadly offense. I don't want to throw a pick. I'm going to try to take a shot. Got the tight ends. Woodley could open this up, give us a chance at a Hail Mary or even a field goal, depending on how many yards he gets. And he is open. And he, I mean, he is open. I think Tucker's going to have a shot at this. 59 yards. Wind in our favor. This is, I mean, a chip shot for him. I mean, their defense is awful. 31 points. 10 seconds from our own 26, and we put up three points. That, I mean, 
if we lose this game, we we are just awful. We don't deserve to win. We don't deserve success because we're doing everything by the book. The only you know mistake we had was that overthrow from Gamble. Of course, they're asking us what to do. I'm I'm doing the same thing as we've had all day. Stop the short pass. Throw it medium. And of course, it's not just straight up you know burning them down the field. We've run the ball. We set up a lot of things. Nice little play, only to the 16. Tyson Anderson. Seems like he's playing better and better each week. All right, first and 10. Tyndall didn't want to fully commit. What a play by Henry. When you see a guy go down that quick, you're almost thinking, like, was that a face mask? Because that's kind of busted. Whereas we've seen our uh, numbers quite a bit. We also know that this is not a good idea. Switch quickly. Drake Jackson off the edge. Can't get there. Tyndall, another missed tackle, man. Tommy Tremble is breaking tackles out here. You can go with a blitz. If they throw this out to the running back, though, we're in some trouble. And Stokes off the edge comes in unexpectedly free, stopping them for a loss of one. Of course, bringing a blitz on this one. Probably going to pull off Jackson here and see what we can do. Tyndall, nice. Stokes, of course, in pursuit would have caught him. Outside of that big run, though, we've really limited them, like, hard. Now a third and 13. Burns beats him one-on-one. -on -one. It's a jump ball. Booker in play. And gets mossed by Jefferson. No shot. He was in perfect position. That is so BS. He's a great receiver, but how? Of course, near the end, you do kind of see Jefferson gains ground, but Sto Oh, my. It wasn't even Stokes. It was Booker. Booker gives him inside leverage right at the perfect time. A.K.A. the worst time for us. How? How do we not pick that? Honestly, how? They want to go for big plays? Okay. We got them. Don't worry about it. I'm not waiting, actually. I'm going to go to Ferg. Oh, it's not Ferg. It's Woodley. I'm expecting Ferg to be on that play, and then I realize Superstar. I actually don't even know what ability Ferguson... Or, um... Damn, it's not Ferguson. Woodley even has on the ball. Nice blocks to the outside. Ho, 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 had a chance. Marcus Williams making a good play there. He had a chance to score. I cannot believe they have 21 points, though. That is insane to me. The way we've played on defense for them to have 21 points. Ooh, Jesus, right up the middle. Had to a little bit. Probably should have actually trusted the guard, which, I mean, hasn't been something we can confidently say this season. But, yeah, he made a good play there. We should have followed him. Up the middle again, and once again, we're kind of going a little bit too close to the sides. We need to avoid contact. Now, third and six, a big third and six, because we're kind of just on the edge of field goal range. Woodley? Woodley? And he's going to score! Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> Thought we were going to easily hurdle in, but he, he kind of slowed down there. Fireworks. I mean, our defense is uh, you know selling a little bit, but... They're, they're cornerbacks. I know this is a safety issue mainly, but they're cornerbacks and linebackers. They just can't cover. They're just they're just not good enough. This has been a massive, massive performance on offense so far. Burns, can we get off the line? Oh, we're getting trucked over. Good tackle by Jabril, but nice little play for them. Gain of six. Once again, I get it. You got to mix it up a little bit, but at this point, I don't know if they can afford to. I feel like they might just have to throw it as much as they can and just hope they get a defensive stop at some point. Although, I mean, Damian Harris, dude, he is making plays. One for se uh, seven for 100 and a touchdown. I mean, that man's making moves. Like, he is actually going off, breaking ankles, running through people. He's doing everything. Nice tackle by Sharp, though, all things considered. Gain of five, but the clock is moving a bit. Jabril. Gonna chase him down. Can't get out there. A lot of bodies in there. We do stop him. Third and three now. Third and three. Third and one. Three receivers. I really do think it's a run, but once again, we just can't give up big touchdowns. Oh, my. It was a run. Stearns, nice tackle, but a gain of five again. They're smoking us. Porter drop back. Booker. Booker. Not again! Touchdown Vikings! Oh my god, Booker just got absolutely boxed out completely. And once again, another jump ball on him. Like how? Upend him! 
end his career here. I'm flipping him over. I'm not trying to kill him, but I'm trying to kill him, kind of. Like, this is legitimately absurd. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't want Freeman to return, and knowing us, we're going to fumble. Mr. Gamble, though, I will say. You know, overshadowing the Vikings, real crazy persistence and resilience, but, I mean, Gamble's just doing a really good job. That touch pass pick, though, that that is awful, and I don't know what we're looking at at this point, but Cameron's kind of lost. Really good game so far. Hopefully he can cap it off with a win, but I don't know at this point because our defense is really selling, like really hard. I don't think they see the screen. That guy comes out last second, though, and sees it. There's nobody out in front for the blocks, and it's going to be a loss slash gain of nothing. You go with the double slant. Didn't really like the original play we had. Ooh, that's risky. Good catch by Tutu. Kind of wanted to get that out quickly. I've seen some movement on our left tackle, and I think the biggest key to us winning this game is just constantly getting the ball going. Can't sit around too long looking for reads. Once again, they're not covering anything short. First down, baby. We go across. There's Woodley with the block and release should give us enough time to have a shot. Not really open. And that actually works out better than anything. Would have been a tough sideline jump ball, and instead it's, you know, a freebie for Ferguson. 15-yarder, first and 10. They're really trying to stop the run, but, like, it's not like we're trying to run the ball every time. Really good route by Woodley, and, I mean, nobody can cover him. Literally no one can cover him. Gibbs time. They want to keep coming out with the big guys. Oh, we got our big guy. Don't you worry. Don't you worry one bit. Although the fullback is pretty stupid. Gaining two only. Should have gained probably five, but the fullback said sorry. Honestly, don't quote me on that. I think the fullback's so dumb he doesn't even realize what he did wrong. This doesn't look great, so I'm going to run the ball. Second and eight. Up the middle. Nice little cutback. Gains about four. To the 21 yard line almost the fourth quarter we have a field goal at least if we don't turn the ball over so don't want to play too conservatively but at the same time oh you get this ball off quickly that worked out i mean thought the tight end was gonna be wide open very good bait didn't have a chance to look back at 2-2 because hawkins was wide open hawkins to the left side speaking of not really finding a whole lot of room maybe three Five yards away from uh, one hunt it. Probably not going to get it on this play with the way they're stacked, but we're going to run it again. We're playing a little conservatively. Oh, he does get it, and then some to the four. Like I said, we're playing a little conservatively, but it's absolutely worked, so why why go away from it? I mean, even here, I, I don't like this play, but what's the worst that can happen? You just don't fumble. You know, just hold on to the ball. Oh, yeah, we went for the, the double fist clutch, and now we're back at 100 on the dot. Not intended, but kind of fresh looking. Thought this playbook had the triple option. I really want the trip here, but I mean they're kind of just playing it smart right now. They're just they're just playing bully ball. To the outside, though. Hawkins fights to the one. Gibbs probably doesn't deserve it, but the touchdown wins the game. I don't care who gets it. And he gets locked up by Derek Brown from the one. I don't think a field goal does so much more than. You know, a turnover at the one. So I am willing to go for it. Ooh, that's a long yard, though. That is a long yard. Harris with the second. And he can't get the ball off. Damn, I and mean, he gets it, but it doesn't go very far. I don't hate the decision, once again. Like, being at the one is quite literally just as bad as, you know, being down by 13, in my opinion. If not worse, because once again, they're going to be forced to run it here, probably. And that's going to waste some more clock. Oh my god, dude, this guy's nuts. Gain six, but it's going to cost us some time, obviously. I mean, even here, they may still run it, which is, you know, even more time wasted. And game over. Safety. Brian Burns, let's go. Russell Wilson, I mean, he's been accurate, but I still think he's been the seller of this game. Look at the backup quarterback and hyped. We're still going to be undefeated more than likely. You get safety. I mean, I think that's a GG. I don't know how you come away from that. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you go for it at the one. Langley with a chance, obviously. Don't want to have too much of a chance. Just, just get it, you know. Don't get surprised. You know, don't get cut off. Just get your yards and get down. It hurts me not to play action with more here, but 
Either way, we're just going to play it safe. Hawkins probably going to lose his 100 yards after that. I oh, know he has a couple extra, actually. Halfback stretch. I wish I could get the fullback moving the other way, though. Like, don't run to the left there. Nice, Gibbs! Gibbs! Oh! Look at him go! Touchdown! 64 yards! He's a god! How does he break a goal line type run for a touchdown? Surfing because he's a dude. <laughs> That's supposed to mean, but... Look at him go. Great blocking across the board. And then just utilize that speed. I mean, he was trying to run the man over. And he just... The guy misjudged it. Touchdown, Gibbs. Look at this. Look at this. Trying to skip ahead a little bit in the game. Because we've put up enough points to win. And here they are moving. Here they are moving. Look at this. Not again. Booker just gets smoked, dude. I get Jefferson's good, but oh my god. Booker is having like an all-time bad performance here. Like, that's crazy. And of course, we're, we're playing conservatively today and it's worked out, but I'm also not in the mood to lose, so... That's a tough one. Dot! Dot! Good catch, Woodley. One of the toughest, but that, that linebacker coming up, dude. We're going to go with the end zone with Ferguson. I don't want to throw a pick here, but... It is kind of set up for... Oh, there it goes, Gamble. No way they gave that up, dude. We haven't run the ball that much, specifically scrambling with him, but that is disastrous. So I don't want to talk about how we got here. Uh, we fumbled, and uh, they scored a touchdown on it. 2-2 Atwell, though. Gets it, kneels it, game over. Oh, my God. What a disaster. Unbelievable. How the hell did we play this well on offense? I know we threw the pick. I know we just had that fumble. Russ? Russ, the game is over, sir. They're also trying to get us to run the ball. I'm not really sure why, but uh, sure. Um, yeah, I don't know how we played this well and yet only won by five in a near 100-point game. I mean, this was just... Dumb big play allowed after dumb big, big play allowed. It's just so stupid. Once again, thankfully we get the dub, and that's really all that matters. As far as they can even play uh, good offense with that coach there. But, of course, we move out of 3-0. and Gamble outside of that, you know, the fumble he just had, and then the uh, the touch pass overthrow pick. Having a, a pretty damn good game there. Nice uh, to get the touch on a pick ratio down a bit, a little bit, you know, in a good way. Uh, we were a bit more balanced this week. Obviously, we were able to apply some pressure. Uh, of course, a lot of yards. A lot of yards, a lot of scores. But, man, our defense needs to step it up a little bit. Of course, looking at the numbers anyways, pretty much the same performance. Both quarterbacks not missing throws, both throwing four touchdowns, uh, and, you know, both throwing an interception. Obviously, Damian Harris had that huge run, but he was limited outside of that. Hawkins with thirty, you know, 3.7 yards per carry, but tons of... Of tough, hard-nosed runs. Obviously, Gibbs had the huge run. Made his average look great. The uh, one scramble for a first down. All the read options were locked down. Uh, and a bunch of kneels at the end there. Woodley, 171 yards, two touchdowns. 52 yards for Hawkins. 52 yards and a touchdown for Ferguson. Sky Moore for fifth, uh, 41 yards. 2-2 out well, 37. And Justin Jefferson, basically Randy Moss, apparently. Which is ironic enough, uh, coincidentally. Uh, sack totals, nothing crazy, but we did get a lot more pressures than they did. Slay with a pick. Stearns with a pick. And that is going to be the game. Jedrick Wills with an upgrade. I want to go power, but I also don't want to lose scheme fit. So I'm going to go with pass protector, which is kind of iffy. And then Javian Hawkins, who uh, could definitely get to 90. He's a juke move here, and he's close to 85, which would be a second archetype, which is a nice... Spin move plus two, which is nice because you know he has spin cycle right now. Not bad. Also, that plus one of juke move put him at 89. Not looking too bad. Of course, no breakout this week, but maybe there'll be one next week after a couple of nice performances here at this game. Obviously, the Vikings one and two now. Very good roster, but cornerbacks, man, they got to get new ones. They're too old, too slow, too out of date, really, but... Another primetime game next week going against Arizona. Excited for that one as well. And 
Hopefully we can keep this win streak alive, especially when you have other teams not looking so great in the division. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this one, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Care, second channel, Care Plays. And I don't know if there'll be a rebuild tomorrow or if it would be more Madden Radiant stuff, but uh, you'll find out it'll be something. Regardless, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!